So I'm going to go over a setup for working shoulder internal rotation, pales and rails, uh, sideline sleeper stretch. So we are working to increase our internal rotational capacity of that shoulder joint. So for this uh, setup, you just need something comfortable to lie on, a mat or a floor, and then I'm gonna use uh, one yoga block, even if you had a pillow or something to place under your head. So I'm gonna come side lying, I'm lying on my left side, so I'm gonna work my left arm first. I like setting my yoga block underneath my head as a pillow lengthwise, and I'm gonna push the block down so it's underneath my neck as well to help give me some reinforcement of my shoulder. So I wanna imagine if I had a curtain rod and I could slide that curtain rod from one shoulder straight down to the other in a straight line. And this block is gonna give me a little feedback if I start to push the block away because I'm sinking into that shoulder, I can feel it slide under my head. So for me, this is a good reference point. So I'm gonna wedge the block underneath, my neck is long, and I'm just uh, legs in a little 90-90 position. I also wanna make sure that underneath, I'm not sinking into my spine, so I'm stacking hips as well. Left arm straight from that shoulder, fisted hand, and then I'm gonna bend that elbow. I'm gonna take my op top arm and go onto my wrist, or like right where my wrist watch is, and start to press myself into an internal rotation passive stretch. So what I wanna watch for here is that I don't start to compensate by sliding my shoulder blade up toward my ear, faking a whole bunch of internal rotation, but I keep that shoulder blade packed down and I keep that yoga block still. At any point, if I have any pinching or pain across the front of that shoulder, I wanna back out of that stretch a little bit. And if not, I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna hold on to this stretch for a minute or two depending on how much time you have to dedicate to this work today. And as I'm in this stretch, I want to start to take big full breaths in. I want to try to relax into this shape, get comfortable with this shape. And you can also play around with where your elbow is. Maybe you want your elbow up a little higher, maybe down a little lower. Find a spot that feels like you feel a good stretch through this tissue that wraps around the top with no pain or pinching. I also wanna make sure when I'm holding in this stretch that I'm not just pushing through my hand and flexing at my wrist, but I'm taking that, keeping the wrist long and keeping the pressure on that forearm. And once I've spent a little bit of time here, I'm gonna start with our pales contraction first. So that pales contraction or progressive angular isometric loading is gonna be trying to push myself out of that internal rotation into external rotation. So I'm gonna start by bracing through my abs, my legs get a little bit of a squeeze, shoulder blades pack down my back, and then I'm gonna to start to push my bottom arm up into my top hand. And I start with just a little bit of pressure so that I notice something happening, I notice the stuff start to squeeze, and then I increase that pressure a little bit and maybe a little bit more, and I'm gonna hang on to that effort right there for five, four, three, two, one. Relax that effort. Hang in that shape. Maybe I feel a little bit more comfortable in this stretch. Maybe I need to adjust, make sure I'm not cheating with that shoulder blade. For my rails effort, or that regressive angular isometric loading, I'm gonna to try to pull myself actively deeper into that internal rotation or pull away from my top hand. I'm gonna win that arm wrestling match. Take a nice big deep breath in on that exhale, start to get light in your top hand, pull away without cheating that shoulder blade. Don't cheat at that wrist, pull down more. Find a good amount of effort and hold there for five, four, three, two, one, relax that effort, big breath in, reset that passive stretch, maybe we reset that shoulder or where your elbow position is, and we take a breath or two. Second round of Pills Rails, maybe higher effort, maybe exactly what you just did, big breath in, exhale, brace abs, tighten up the body, start to push your top hand, or your bottom hand rather, into your top hand. 
smash something in between, as if I'm trying to break my watch with the two hands. Push up a little bit more, trying to go into external rotation with that left arm, feeling the tissues at the top of that shoulder squeezing. Hold there five, maybe increase the effort a little. Four, three, two, relax on one. Big breath in, find that passive range. Exhale, start to pull your bottom arm away. Imagine you're pulling away, getting light on that hand. Trying to keep checking in with your shoulder. Don't cheat and lean back into that bottom arm. Hold there, pull that fist toward the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. I'm going to hang there for a moment. Big breath. And then I'm going to gently relax that load and pull out, flip around the other side. So again, I like to wedge that yoga block down lengthwise to help me keep that curtain rod sensation from one shoulder to the next or one collarbone to the next. Arm reaches forward, I'm going to fist that hand and drive my elbow down into the floor. When you set that first stretch, just feel free to adjust. Maybe I want my elbow higher, maybe I want it lower, wherever I can feel a good amount of stretch through this tissue that wraps here without any pain or pinching. So I'm setting up in that stretch. I'm going to hang here, a couple of nice big full deep breaths in and out. Also just noticing the difference between the two sides. And maybe we hang here for 60, 90 seconds or so, maybe upwards of two minutes. And then I'm gonna start that pales, first pales contraction. Pack that shoulder down your back. Engage through your abs and start to push your bottom hand up into that top hand. Start with just a little bit of pressure. Notice the stuff that you felt stretching before is now working. There should be some heat in that shoulder. Try to increase that pressure just a little bit with that bottom arm and hold there five, four, three, two. Relax that effort on one. Big breath in, resetting that passive stretch. Rails contraction. All of the short stuff is gonna get shorter. I'm gonna try to squeeze myself down deeper into that internal rotation. Big breath in. Exhale, start to slowly feel light in that top hand. Pull away from that top arm if you can. Hold that squeeze, hold that effort. Try not to fake it with that wrist. Keep the wrist long. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Hang in that stretch, maybe adjusting as needed. Finding that second round. Maybe second round is same effort. Maybe we can increase it just a little. Big deep breath in. Exhale, I start to push up into my hand. I push up a little bit more. If that pressure were a volume dial, I'm turning that volume up from one to two to three to four to five. I stop at my highest, safest effort. Hold five, four, three. Really fight with that top hand. Two, one. Relax that effort. Hold that shape. Rails effort. Pull away. That bottom arm pulls toward the floor. Big breath in. Exhale. Trap that air. Engage the abs. Pull shoulder down the back and hand tries to pull toward that floor. Tries to pull floor, toward the floor a little bit more. Increasing that effort, squeeze into that internal rotation, hold there, five, try not to fake it with that wrist, four, three, two, one, and relax. And I hang in that stretch for another moment or two, maybe adjusting my elbow as needed. And then nice and easy coming out of that shape. And that is internal rotation, pails, and rails for the shoulder.